Good morning, welcome to another vlog, another week, exciting week of different activities. So I'm just from signing up students to the clubs. So as I was coming to school, I just noticed that all the students were headed towards the hall. And I was wondering, really, what's happening? I know, you know here, you just go with the flow. No one really like gives you any information of what's going to happen like next week, what we have in store for the students. So I go to my office, I put my bag. As usual, I was expecting us to go to the open fields to do assembly as, as always, but today students were headed towards the hall. So I get to the hall, I find students standing in different places, sections, some are inside the hall. No one wondering what's happening. Only to find out that today all the students during the first lesson will be signing up for clubs. Yeah, so we started signing up and <laughs> the lower years, only one student signed up. So I was like, oh my god, do these students love English? I, in fact, I would have thought those ones are the ones who would have signed up the most, but only one out of all the stuff, all the students in Mateo one and two uh, signed up for my class. And then, uh, what, they were like divided into groups. So between Mateo one and three, they came in first, and then four, five, six came in later. Now those ones, most of them are really interested in learning English, and they really signed up. About uh, 20 students signed up for my club. And I was like, oh, nice. Uh, for a moment today, I thought I'll only be with one student or no student at all. But indeed, there are students who are interested in learning English. So my club is English Phonics. I've never taught phonics before because what I've been teaching is grammar and reading, speaking, and listening skills. So this is an interesting challenge for me. So I need to get on reading or understanding how to teach students phonics. Yeah, so that's been my morning. And then now I'm in class, of course, waiting for my students. I don't think they're gonna come. I saw them at the cafeteria. Those are, I can say, students who are not really interested in English. So I will wait for my next lesson which is about two hours from now, so I get to do my own stuff, get my head um, aligned with what the day is expected of me. And so I'm gonna see you guys later. Okay. Yeah. Checking in with you, today is a very chill day for me. I only have three classes that I teach, and I just wanted to check in with you. And it's largely been an event room, I've just been working on my videos. But an observation that I've just made a lot of people are getting COVID around my school, and I'm praying that I don't become a victim. Yeah, that's so far the day has been so chill this is my second last class before i do my last class of the day Welcome to this day's vlog. So today, um, check out my class first.
that's my current situation. So it's like all the students in this class went to a rocket festival in another district. And I think it's happening this whole week because also yesterday I had very few students in my class. Like um, there's a lesson where I taught four students, there's another one I taught two students, there's another one when I, where I taught three, as in classes are very, students are very few. Yeah, classes are there but students are very few. Plus even in the assembly you could tell the school had very few students. So I've been told there's a rocket festival happening in my one district and that's where most of the students are. So it looks like this lesson is gonna be a free lesson for me. Tell me full sentence January to April. My birthday is in January. My birthday is in January. Don't skip the thing. I don't say my birthday is January. No, no, no. My birthday is in January. My birthday is in January. See? You guys. Yes. You guys are still skipping the in. Stop skipping the in. My birthday is in January. My birthday is in January. Hey guys, a largely an eventful day, but as always I had mentioned earlier that today is one of my busiest days, so finished my class and every month i do a three day fast on the three last days of, um, of the month and what happens is i just fast uh, a meal and today has been so challenging even though it was the last day i just uh, thank god for taking me through it because sometimes you feel like giving up but you're like i'm already 75 percent done so let's do this and i'm so glad and happy that I've managed to finish it and um, I have of course treats. We were given treats as usual. Our office always has dessert treats so that's what I want to sample with you guys. It's a sugar bowl. So it's a form of pastry mm. with sugary coating on top and inside. See the inside? Mm. Something spicy. Not sure what it is, but it's. Mm. I can tell the taste. Hmm. I can only tell the sugary taste. This other inside stuff I can't tell, but it's delicious. And I don't know the name sadly, but they're so sweet. Here's the other one. So this one had a sugary coating. This one had sesame seeds. Hmm. Mm. when it comes to desserts at this place 10 out of 10 all the time 10 out of 10 plus 10 minus 10 10 10 there's also a public holiday on 5th of june what do you know yeah mm. what am i looking for i have a class which i need to go prepare for and um, as always, I just love to come and give you updates of what's happening in my week. And it's been largely uneventful because most of the classes have very few students. But those we who come, we go and we continue and we study. 
and I remember in the beginning of the semester I was preparing like one topic fits all but as we go along I keep changing depending on the needs of the students some students today was our first class I can say Wednesday is a jinxed day why because um, the first Wednesday was a, was was a uh, students hadn't reported to school the second wednesday was a public holiday the royal plowing ceremony the third wednesday the students had uh, a buddhist event and some of them didn't come to class the final wednesday this wednesday again is another festival no Yes, it's another festival. Last Wednesday, I was going to the immigration office to get my work permit. So you see, there are some students. Today was actually our first class. I was meeting them for the first time. And I feel like they were shortchanged. And I don't know if we can do makeups with them because some of them have missed like three weeks of class. And that's a lot because those ones that have done three weeks with them, we've done so much, we've learned so much. I've taught them a lot of stuff so I feel like these ones are are quite behind so meaning even for the exams I'm preparing for them it will be different every class will have a different exam because every class is at a different stage in terms of learning yeah so that's my day today and of course I'm gonna see you tomorrow What an end to a um, week that started so low but ended up with a high. So guys, tomorrow is the Queen's birthday and so therefore there are celebrations going on tomorrow. She was born on 3rd of June. But since it's a weekend, the, week, the holiday is being extended to Monday. Meaning Monday there is no school. And therefore a long weekend for us um, yeah so today there's been a lot of buzz of activities a lot of cultural things going on in school and I was wondering what's up what's happening why, why is there a lot of activity up and down here and there only to be told that it's the Queen's birthday and uh, there are some celebrations that are happening. And so one of the things that our school did, they set up, they put a set up and then some Buddhists came to the school and they chanted and they did some, yeah, they did some chanting. I don't know if it's a ritual or a sequence or something. And then after that, the teachers bought, had bought things, you know, snacks water uh, and they lined up and then just gave these uh, Buddhists uh, it's like giving them gifts you know then after that um, the first three years that's my time one two three went on to have um, what do we call this um, they, they went on to have academic advisors with them for about the first lesson that that's like an hour and then the rest of us that i am four five and six we went to the hall and did this whole elaborate ceremony where only the students who had white and blue and white and brown so boys were brown and white girls blue and white so those ones were allowed in the hall the rest of the others in yellow and black were, were asked to leave 
and then uh, the school did some ritual there for it's like a shrine and and, and the, the, the the school presented those uh, the shrine with the image of the queen and then they presented some items to eat and then they they sang a song then after that um, we did some photo sessions and I noticed that the teachers had white, they were in full white uniform, they looked like policemen, then some had brown. And then those who didn't have had their Thai traditional dresses on. I mean, these people and their culture, they do not come to play. They are looking so beautiful. So after this, the students, uh, not the students, the teachers went on and then they changed to their Thai traditional uh, Thai dresses. So basically, even today, the ladies were in Thai dresses and the men were in Thai shirts and black uh, trousers after changing from the white uniforms. Then later on, I saw students from the stu which I, I was made to understand later it's the student council. They are also having an event today. Student council is like student leaders, like prefects in high school. They are also having an event uh, somewhere in school right now. And then, me and myself, I took the opportunity to take myself to open a bank account. You know, in Thailand, you can't have a bank account unless you have a non-B visa. You need to have an additional, now the work permit, so that they can give you a bank account. So I went through that process. It took me a while. Uh, it's the nearest bank to my school, but unfortunately, this bank does not have internet banking another thing that also was a downer for me was that this bank i can't download their their mobile app because of my phone setting we really tried to change my phone setting to show thailand but in Mekata, my phone has refused to go it said it's kenyan and it's kenyan it's not going to go to thailand so yeah, that's where I was stuck and um, I had to again come back to school and you know it's so hot. So I made like two trips to the bank and then back to class. I taught, finished my lessons, went for class and now I'm here to finish this vlog because tomorrow we are starting another vlog. You know it's a long weekend, I'm going to knock on someone. And I was referred to another bank which has internet banking so that I'm able to do international transactions with those banks. Yes guys, so thank you so much for coming with me this week. It's really been slow but ended up with a high. It's just interesting to note that a whole country is celebrating your birthday. As in, can you imagine how the queen is feeling? As in a whole country is celebrating you. Everyone has to stop. Everyone has to take a day off just to celebrate you. Now that's what it means to be a queen. Yes, guys, and I'll see you definitely in the next video. Keep watching, keep supporting. Like this video, share it if you want to ever come and live in Thailand and get immersed in the Thai culture. This is the channel for you as I experience this season of me being in China in Thailand. And I'm definitely seeing you in the next video. Bye!